I'm going to show you how to use the crafter in Ender.io. This is a complete tutorial. So starting off, you do actually have a simple version of the crafter called the simple crafter, which is what we have here. And then you have an upgraded version or the standard version called the crafter. Looking at the simple version, if we look in here, you can see on the left there is a crafting grid and on the right there's a crafting grid. The one on the left is grayed out and this is because this is where you put your recipe. Then what we can do is left click with our resource. So I can just click and drag and make a door or I can you know do it like this and have a crafting table. And then what you do is you put your resources in this right hand side crafting grid. So if I get a stack of oak wood planks, what you'll see Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> is if we actually make it a door, um, that it will actually start making doors for you. And you can see here it's going down bit by bit, um, just continually making um, doors with the recipe we have on the right. If you want to output this, you can click on the cog wheel here, and you can see we've got sides. Let's say on the right hand side, I want to output. Well, I can put um, push because it's pushing out of the machine, and then add a chest on that side. Or if I wanted to put like more planks in on um, top, I could right click and put pull, meaning it's pulling into the machine. So blue is input, orange is output. Same with most mods generally that you find, where we can input from a chest on top the wooden planks. Or if you want, you can also put um, input and output on the same side. And you can shift click to um, on here to reset all the sides. Shift left click on configure IO and I'll reset them all. So if I right click here, and then shift click here, we can reset them all. You can click this button to hide any adjacent machines um, if you want. It's easy to see where the adjacent machines are, so you can kind of see like what you're pushing out or pulling in from. And then show recipes shows all the different recipes that we can make in the crafter, which of course is quite a lot as it does act as a crafting table. It will need power, of course, then going on to the crafter, there's a few extra buttons. We can add redstone control. Should it always be active or only activate the signal, etc. And you will also need a um, capacitor in here. The better the capacitor you use, the higher um, the amount of energy it can store and also how quickly it's actually going to work. Same as before, you could put your wood in here and then you can do um, buffering by single items or item stacks, which can improve efficiency as well um, and that is the only real differences between the simple version and the um, the normal you know crafter if you're thinking well, it doesn't seem like there's that much improvement really it's down to the capacitors adding in like an octadic will make this go a lot quicker um, if we have a look here and we put it on always active you can see how quickly I don't even know if you saw that it was so quick. You can actually see how quickly it goes with the octadic one in. It's literally, um, you know, it's a few seconds. You've got a whole full stack of oak doors, for example. Um, whereas we put a basic capacitor in here and then get some oak logs or, or planks even and put these in here. You can see it's a lot slower with the basic capacitor. So that's the main upgrade that you can really do with the main crafter. And there we go. That is how you use the crafter in Ender.io. Do check out the playlist you now see on screen as I am covering the entire mod in this playlist. And also check out the um, playlists part of this channel as there is an entire Minecraft mod playlist shelf that you will see under playlists.